Hello everyone and welcome to the Deployment Research YouTube channel. My name is Johan Arvidmark and in this demo I will show you a Archive utility called CPAC. Useful for archiving virtual machines, useful for running backups, a lot of content. Shorthand, demo time. CPAC was a utility I stumbled across almost a decade ago. It's a fantastic tool if you have a lot of content to archive or run a backup of. It's especially good for content that is kind of identical because it's using data deduplication. So a good example will be virtual machines. So to give you an example, if you have a server OS, you can always leverage data deduplication on any volume except the one that you run Windows on. So if I go to one of my volumes here, and take a look at the virtual machines folder, you can see I have almost two terabyte of VMs, but they only consume about half a terabyte on disk. And that is of course, across all these virtual machines that are a lot of them that are the same. Now, if I go over to my folder here, my demo folder, here is a folder where I have three Windows 11 VMs and each of them is about 40 gigs in size. But since they are on a block level, very identical, if you have an archiving tool like CPAC, it will only record the changes in between them on a block level. That's what data deduplication does. And it also keeps versioning. So I can run it over and over again against the same folders and it still will keep a copy of that in the archive. So just for fun, I put together a little PowerShell script that I ran where I compared regular zipping of a file. I was using 7-zip because it supports larger files than the compress archive utility in, in built into PowerShell. So I was running 7-zip with just the normal compression and uh, the zip archive type. And then I did a 7-zip archive the, with the seven zip archive type, and finally I call the cpac archive command or the just a single executable that it download. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, maybe something else. Um, no, Windows, Linux, and Mac. I only use it on Windows, but I'm assuming it works the same on the other platforms. But long story short, I ran the script and. Here, time, here is the time it took to, to create the, the archives. So the zip edition took almost two and a half hours. This one took about half an hour and the CPAC archive only 17 minutes. If you look, however, at the result, if I go back to my demo folder here, you can see that the CPAC archive is much, much smaller. In fact, it's about the size of one of the virtual machines. So even if I had added 10 more VMs, this archive would not have increased much in size because again, on a block level, they are very, very similar. Plus, as I mentioned, it is quick. I did some comparison a while back. I was testing out the different compression methods for it. And what I found is that method one that I was using in my test is by far the best option if you think of compression speed versus the size of the output file. So this one here, I think is a golden ticket. Now, obviously you can save a few more gigabyte if you go up to the highest compression levels. But as you can see down here, you only save a few gigabytes, but the, the time it took to compress it was also a lot. I mean, eight hours versus 17 minutes, quite the difference. Anyhow, I kindly recommend you to try out this utility. It's very straightforward to use. And let me know how it goes. That's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again here on the channel soon. Bye for now.